Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Mr. Hancock here. This is uh, English Lit 1. Um, I have some updates and I want to go over week 6 with you. Um, I've decided, um, according to our reading list, um, for week 6 I had originally the faith in conflict, uh, talking about the English Bible, how the English Bible came to be, uh, moving into the Reformation. Uh, those are good parts. They're really big though, and then I also thought that on week 7 and 8 you're going to be reading King Lear. And so I, th I decided that I'm going to scrap the faith and conflict information or the readings and I'm going to focus three weeks on Shakespeare. The reason is is that I want you to spend a week on Shakespeare getting familiar with the play and then and the you know just the structure and the background and context and everything like that and then seven and eight weeks seven and eight you'll spend actually reading the play um, so week six is now going to be devoted to Shakespeare and getting you ready for King Lear. So, um, let's go ahead and kill it into that and see. All right, so obviously this is going to be a little bit different when you see it, but still, uh, there's your checklist. Here are your handouts. Um, there's a graphic organizer I'm about to go into, and then you'll see that you have um, three videos to watch. This is plenty for you to do, uh, and I want you to make sure that you uh, definitely do that. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, let's get into it here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about um, really quick is this graphic organizer. You're going to come back to this and you're going to use this at different points. Uh, this is mainly used for, you know, more secondary um, educational, you know, classes, you know, like high school and stuff like that. But I think for what we do, uh, it's uh, really, really awesome. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but still, I want you to understand this as you go forward when you read um, King Lear. That King Lear being a tragedy, it's one of his ba it's one of his greatest plays. Um, it's going to follow a specific structure, a five act structure, but it's also going to be focused on what we call the Freitag uh, pyramid. And so you'll notice here, here are your acts. This tells you what each act should be doing. It doesn't tell you precisely what King Lear is going to do, but when it's a tragedy, when he's dealing with one of his dramas, we're going to see this in some way. And so what we see with the Freitag uh, Pyramid, this is how it's going to work. Like I said, I don't want to go into reading this to you. Uh, I think it's still pretty clear cut, so I want to um, not explain it to you. I want you to read this and see how you see that it fits. And that's my problem. I'm trying not to... I have a tendency to go in and... Uh, and just tell it, give give the store away, and that's not how you're going to learn. You're going to learn by going in here and seeing how this applies and plugging it in yourself. So when you go in, you'll notice it has the five acts set up, and which act will have which part of the pyramid that goes into it. And then down here, you'll notice that you'll have information that you will fill in as we go, and then you'll notice how these acts fit. So what you'll do is as we go further, you'll take the time to fill in this in our discussion boards and everything as we go. So I wanted to mention that to you. Please keep in mind the five-act structure, the Freitag Pyramid as you go forward, okay? Now, uh, going back in here, we have a couple of videos here uh, that are from Crash Course. Crash Course is a really, um, really good web um, YouTube channel. They have tons of videos. It started off with John Green with, um, uh, with literature. Um, but then it's really expanded into all kinds of stuff. And this here, this is by John Green. By, it's by another gentleman. I forgot his name. Uh, but here's a couple videos focusing on um, context and structure. Just a lot of really good and general information about uh, Shakespeare and his plays. And they call it Crash Course for a reason. They're really quick. And they give you some good stuff really fast. So you can watch those. Please do. And then down here, uh, this is not my video. This is um, this is a great video. Why reinvent the wheel? Um, this is, and do another one when this one does just as good a job. This is a lady, a teacher, English teacher, that goes into really good information about King Lear itself. Please watch that. It is a PowerPoint, but still. Now, something you're not going to be able to see because my screen, my recorder cuts it off. But you'll see it when you go in. It says King Lear right here. This is the actual link to the play. Now, <coughs> excuse me, for for week six, I'm not asking you to go in and start reading it. You will have a specific reading assignment uh, for with King Lear starting next week on week seven. But this week, I expect you to be prepared and ready to go so that when that reading hits next week, you're ready to hit the ground running. You'll know where to go. You'll know what to do. So I wanted to show you that website really quick, okay? So when I click it, you'll go here. 
This is the Folger Shakespeare. This is the best website I can go to. Um, and so what you'll notice here is that it gives you a little bit of information. You can download it, but if you go down here to context, it gives you everything you'll need, all right? You'll have the entire play if you want to layer it together, but you'll also have it broken into scenes. This gives you a little bit of information as what's going to happen in that scene. So when you click this, it gives you a synopsis and then begins the scene. And this looks fantastic. They're lined. Everything you need is ready to go, okay? You just have, instead of having paper in your hands, it's electronic. You'll do it on your phone or your computer, tablet, whatever, okay? And go back, and it does that for every one of your acts, okay? Um, character list at the top, everything like that. Now, one thing I want to uh, warn you all about, and so I'm going to go here and go... Um, I'm just going to do a basic Google search for King Lear. Um, the first thing that pops up is Wikipedia, obviously, but the one right under that you'll notice it says Spark Notes. Um, most people know about Spark Notes, and they'll click into it, and they'll notice, oh my God, it gives me everything I ever needed to know about um, Shakespeare. Now, I'm not going to say stay away from this. This can be helpful. Um, and so that's not what I'm going to say is stay away from it. But at the same time, um, if you rely on this 100%, it will burn you. I see it every time. Uh, this is only going to give you a little bit of information, but what's going to be demanded of you in a test and what we may see later with your literary analysis, that this right here will not help you out. This only gives you understanding as to what to, to look for and to do when you start reading. There's no replacement for the text itself, okay? Um, so please watch out for that. And it, just going into any of these these summaries, website summaries and things like that, it's it's just going to burn you. I promise you. And I I don't say that as a teacher. I say that as a as a former student as well. It can help you. It can give you some understanding and context so your reading will make sense, but it will not save the day when you don't want to sit down and read the text. All right. So, um that's that mainly right now. You don't see a discussion board post or anything like that yet. Trust me, that's all coming starting next week in week 7. Um so that's where you are. Please, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, Y'all, now is the time when we start to see students will start noticing their grades and they'll start panicking. Um, so number one piece of advice I can give you is to start early. Read the instructions, start early, and ask for help when you need it, as soon as you need it. Do not wait till the last minute. All right, y'all, there you go. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please let me know.